matchup. <laughs> Trainer does fine, but it is like you have to remember how annoying uh, Sora can be. To me, like the way I play the matchup is like it's definitely going to be a lot of Squirtle. Um, I do like, love your Squirtle. Helper has like really dumbass air dodges. Uh, and so like I hope he watches this and like I've told him. So like, you know. Uh? Like when Squirtle does his swings, like he's gonna do that, and like eventually, like you know, you'll get you'll get a read, and you can kind of react to that sort of stuff, and you can right. kind of like extend punishes on uh, on Helper Sora for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is definitely you know, Sora can oopsie you, uh, and has really big boxes and are really active. So you know, it, it's definitely like it, it can go either way. The they both they have gone back and forth in sets. I believe Helper did take the most recent one uh, last week or two weeks ago, um, but you know, uh, King has shown multiple times that uh, he can defeat Helper and has. So uh, let's see who takes it now. Take wow. it away, guys. What a great catch there, edge guarding that, King. That switch was actually the thing that doomed that stock. Yeah. But I mean, King does have a tendency to, when they're trying to like vary up their recovery, they do like the canceling of the vine on no, the ledge. That's, yeah. Like that is a very good tactic. It just so happens Sora has giant frame traps in a can. Mm -hmm. Where can I buy that? Can you get that at Target? Frame you can buy it in this game. Oh, he, he only costs five ninety nine. Wow, and I could be a top player too. Crazy. <laughs> Helper, I mean, King really loving those up smashes with Charizard and thinking that they can just walk through the thunder? I think not. Oh. Actually gets back Hard down. Do it. I like how Helper and Dill are both so reactive whenever they lose the stock. <laughs> they just like take in real life damage. They're like Yu-Gi-Oh isn't characters. That, isn't that most players at some point in their lives? I still do it. I like, like, I'm semi-retired, but, like, the few games I boot up the game for whatever reason, who knows what, yes. maybe, like, an arena or something, you know, I will still visibly wince when things are just, like, going that way. Ah, uh, and Helper shakes it off. Even though he got that kill, he's just limber enough for the next one. So that, that was a clutch. Just like, yes! I'm in the game. Hell yeah. Now, if you're in top six at Xeno, you have fought through some your life. killers. Your life. You oh might not gosh. be. Okay, never mind. All right, trying to avoid getting forward tilted. Ooh, and Squirtle is back. All right, I have a sword. What a catch. Helper going from pumping himself up to the eye roll. Shout out to Bugs. Man, just uh, the fact that Vine Whip still hits the way it does on its sweet spot is very exciting to me. Yes. Oh. Nice little neutral to get out of there. Okay, good. Good fade in. Gosh, King, maybe giving uh, Sora a little too much space. Gets hit by almost every single and Thungaga into a kill. Swat him away. Ah, no. No little fist bump there from Helper. Not this time. Hmm, so PS2 and Kalos are off the table. What do you think is a good choice here to go to? For Running it back, evidently. Oh. It's a it's a great neutral stage for all characters, and I would say Helper's Edge Guardian in this game so far has been excellent. And like for if I'm like if we're talking seriously, King didn't wasn't really playing that wrong necessarily. It was a very good back and forth, all things considered. Just you yeah, know, Helper happened to take it out this time. No, Helper just played better. At least so says the game. He won the game. Like you know, it's. Now I think people are starting to realize, you know, almost three years to the day. When did Sora come out? October, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, uh, not three years, two years to the day that, you know, Sora is probably... You know what? It's okay. That's the only SD he's going to get in bracket. Happens every time. We're moving on. You get one. You think it was Helper's only SD? I would like to think so. When telling the story, you stick you to legend, one, not you the get truth. One percent. One percent. Granted, you know, uh, Sora's infinite recovery has helped uh, alleviate the helper SDs. They still do. 
John's in the background being like, they still have me. I'm like, I said alleviate, not like cure. Prevents them out. Right? Just, yeah. It's just, it like yeah. helps. It's like the flu. It still happens, but you Helper can do things to prevent for the blast zone. <laughs> I mean, it's like the children in the mines. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I'm a Sonic player. And every, every Sonic name worth their salt will tell you that they have spin dashed to their death at the most inopportune times. That's just canon. That's like, you know, true to the game. Oh. Just like bottomless pit. Whoops, I missed a drop dash there. My bad. Sonic yearns for death. Uh oh. Now, all of that said, Thunder. it's oh. on King to actually make use of it and, you know, bring us closer to a game three situation. Yep. Wow. Just parrying all Big through the Blizzard Saga. Okay. Nope. Wow, that actually kills. I guess 174, Charizard ain't uh, well, a little raised, that heavy. But yeah, I was expecting to live that one. I guess not. Maybe some uh, bad DI there from King not expecting it. Possibly. All right, we're starting to see some combos here. Two, one, two. These delays from King with the Razor Leaf. Not really Woo! good. Oh. A nice little uh, down into the up air. Could you imagine if Ivysaur still were weak to fire in this game? God, no, oh gosh. No, there are no type advantages in Smash Brothers. <laughs> in Ultimate, anyway, there were in Brawl. Get out of here, what? No, like, ask ask anyone, they'll tell you. Ivysaur is possibly a bottom five of all time character because she is weak to fire. That's not the only reason, but that does not help. You know, Brawl with I Snake in the game. Every time that I learn something else about Brawl, I'm just like, why was it that detailed? Sakurai, Sakurai never ceases to amaze no, me. No, like, uh, yeah, it is detailed for that reason, but yeah. there's Technology, also like, man. there's also game balance to account for, <laughs> which is why Cloud can charge his limit for some reason. Yes. Ooh, he's a charge character, don't you know? Sure. And we're charging into game three. King with a excellent two stock over Helper. Good spray. You know, he was just a temporarily embarrassed king. Mm -mm. He's gonna for that top, top spot tonight. So what do you think was this uh, adaptation that we saw from King? Obviously, that SD from Helper you know, did not from help. That. Right, right. Um, I would say like the key thing is not putting yourself in a situation where you get edge guarded too, too much. Mm -hmm. Cause that is probably Sora's greatest strength among everything else besides his absurd recovery. And we're starting off with Squirtle here in Game 3. This is Top 6 at Xeno 315. If you're just joining us now, be sure to get here earlier next time. You missed some hype hype sets. But you can always catch on YouTube. But for now, but we got But thank you for tuning King. in at all. Yes, we'd rather have you here than not at all. Oh. One, two, nope. Helper maybe just attacking Shield a little too much here. But finally gets it in here. Going low. Down there? Not quite. That's what they want you to think. If only, right? Get some good damage off that Blazaga. Razor Leaf not stopping this aura. A good idea with that outer shield option, but doesn't find anything, and King just retreats back to center stage. Helper kind of popping in to see with that fork, bro. Just like, mm, get out of here. Yeah, he's like, I like that. Do it again. Almost. Maybe this is why we continue playing Smash Brothers. We're, we're addicts looking for that dopamine hit. That was definitely a dash grab. It just, the dash didn't come out. A really good use of that counter, but hey, it would have saved him if that, uh, you know, the binds actually hit. Hello? Oh, risky Sonic Blade in. That Thundog on stage, I've been thinking about. I feel like a lot of stores use it on stage, and it's uh, not quite the best option, I would say. They mostly do it just to cycle to get Blizzago or Fire to faster, because... Whoa, from center stage? Even Helper was shocked. I saw his eyes go wide. I didn't see, I don't know what percent King was at, but I definitely 120. Like, from center, that was probably Misty Eye. Yeah. Let's see then the replay. All right, nice thunder, but you know, Helper is in the lead. Oh, almost lot. 
my that's, god! That's what I'm talking about. Robbery. Every, every time you stall in the air against Sora, you're actually putting yourself at greater risk at getting destroyed. Unless you're like... Someone like, I don't know, Steve Blocks. Yeah. Because you're still fully actionable after the fact. It, then that's just Steve privilege at that point. Yeah. It, even then, Steve can't make Blocks all the way at, you know, out toward the blast zone. Mm -hmm. God help us. Good. Wouldn't that be nice? Is that it? Wow. Less than a two minute game. King coming just in clean, confident just after clean. that last game. Yeah, King just like, what, what was I supposed uh, to do? He yeah. clicked my dragon head in twain. I mean, that was just a checkmate situation after checkmate situation. The set going to Helper. Yeah, if we see here. Locks in to top four. Right. That was a forward tilt from center stage. <laughs> Helper's just like, whoa. All right, and I think this is where really Helper was starting to feel himself. Gets that Thundaga. And then once you got that stall with that exchange, usually that quite works out for, uh, you know, avoiding a hit when they're getting too aggressive. But then the drag down into that forward smash beautiful stuff. There, there are very few characters you can't really afford to change against when it comes to edge guarding, and Sora, unfortunately, is one of them. Yeah. Is, you know, what, what can we do about that? But uh, that's going to be it from me for tonight. I had to Aww. pop by and remind everyone in the face, again, in the face of, you know, if you follow Smash News, what happened yesterday, this Kirby. He you needs your help now more than ever. Support your locals. Support your locals. That's you got some right. good ass unlicensed Smash Brothers. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, <laughs> Smash Bros. Speakeasy win. I chip in for that. Yeah, no. Peak, I mean, peak Smash Bros. vibe will always be the grungy cart shop. True. Aww. True. Also, yeah. also, if you're so inclined, you can also tune into Brooklyn this Sunday, who, in the face of this, have made their uh, next Sunday event completely free of entry with a $500 pot. Because God help them, you will not take Smash out of their, you know, well-oiled barista... Well, not barista, but, uh, <laughs> you a know... bartender hand? Yes, thank you, bartender hands. <laughs> now, I would say, I think this is a nice contribution for the scene, because those greedy TOs just make too much money. So right? to put up $500 pot bonus out of their own pocket, incredible. Just so nice of That'll them. That'll 